He works to go viral on social media, but not like this. When Detroit police shared this video during a press conference claiming to have arrested a street racing YouTuber and planning to keep his Lamborghinis, they got hundreds of thousands of views. But now, as our Kim Russell reports, that YouTuber is saying, not so fast. We're going to Detroit. We are not going to get in trouble. We could, but we won't. Detroit police shared this video at a press conference Thursday of men from Kalamazoo. There should be like roughly $1,000. I don't think bail would be higher than that for street racing. These vehicles will be com converted. We're, we're keeping them. We're going to do everything in our power not to return those vehicles. And we're going to ticket to drivers. Chief James White said the video was offensive and sends the message Detroit is lawless. His message, anyone thinking about drag racing in Detroit should know they will face forfeiture proceedings. And that's not all. Some of these folks make a living out of going around the major cities and doing drag racing in the streets. Uh, so if you walk, you'll see on the front of the vehicle, we have the dates uh, that the, the vehicles uh, were taken into custody and all these people have been arrested uh, and, and are looking at prosecution. It is slander to put my cars front and center in press conferences and say that all parties have been arrested and are being prosecuted. I've never been arrested. I've never been ticketed. I'm not currently under prosecution for anything. Sean Teen says he made the video police shared for his popular YouTube channel, Dream Cars Daily. He says police boxed him in as he drove the speed limit on May 20th. He recorded what happened next, showing he was given notice of seizure and intent to forfeit paperwork, then let go. I think a government that goes unchecked is, is one of the biggest concerns in, in society. Sean's attorney, Rami Hajazi, says it is illegal for police to lie about his client. He says as the press conference was happening, the prosecutor's office was offering a settlement. Teen has to pay $4,300 plus storage and fees to get his cars back as soon as Monday. Using my cars as props in their um, political stunts, I, I take issue with. Sean wants to have people held accountable. Holding police accountable. I called police who admitted Sean was not arrested. What Chief James White said at the press conference was not true. As for holding Sean accountable, did you street race in that vehicle? Somebody did. And I don't know. <laughs> uh, my, my attorney says I probably shouldn't talk too much about that. When I reached out to Detroit police, I was told that even though, yes, there was no arrest, they are still pursuing charges. I reached out to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office and they say at this point, they have not received a warrant request in this case. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Kim. More to come for sure. We'll